Gotten your show for y'all. Defend the blue at all cost. Man. That's my motto. Defend the blue without police officers. The world will be in chaos. Imagine where all the murderers will be. They're not in jail. They're walking the streets. Hey, you know what? Child molesters? Where do you think they at? They're not in jail. They had playgrounds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Burglars, robbers. I- where they at? They're not in jail. They're knocking on your door. <laughs> <laughs> Without a police officer, a court system, a, ju- a judicial system, man, this would be a dangerous place to live. But because we have police officers, judges, yeah. court system, prisons, jails, attorneys, we can breathe easily at night. Well, kind well of, most of us. What well, kind of Democrats letting these psychopaths out all the time? Yeah. And you know, I'm starting to see a trend, man. These police officers are, they're not doing, they're not, they're soft. They're getting soft, yeah. Politicians have made them soft. Check this video out. Hey, you got it. <laughs> I think the cop. Don't tase him, he's behind the wheel. That's bad. <laughs> Who shut the door? The cop? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga gone, man. <laughs> he gone. Y'all ran into Black Panther himself. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Three white men can't stop one nigga? <laughs> Come on now. The Y'all making the race look bad. <laughs> Y'all making the founding fathers look horrible. <laughs> I bet George, George Watson <laughs> rolling around in his grave. <laughs> what has this country came to? <laughs> oh, man. It was... We're just joking, black people. Y'all know we're joking, right? Yeah. We're just joking. No, I think a cops. Y'all was trying to arrest him like he was a whole white woman. Yeah, put that nigga in a chokehold and start <laughs> punching him in the ribs. Yeah. But I think... I they think, can't do that no more. You can't put punch them in the ribs. Yeah. Can't put them in the chokehold. Yeah. Stop. Stop it. Stop resisting. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. They called me. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all would have been better off sending some social workers out there. <laughs> yeah. You've be, you been better off sending that, that, that boy's mama out there. Hey, let's see it again. I think when the black dude come up, all his ass was out. Well, what else is new? Watch, watch, watch this. All you can see is some butt crack get up. <laughs> Show the white man his black ass. Watch. Look at all that ass. <laughs> man. That nigga strong. <laughs> Yeah, they tasting hell out of them. Every time. Every time. Did you they, see the white guy? You see the white guy with the when he took off? He's like this. Go, go, back, go back there. Watch when he takes off the guy right there. Watch. <laughs> hey, every time he tastes the motherfucker's foot hit that gas. <laughs> every time he just... <laughs> Then he started <laughs> You know what? I'm not too familiar with police protocol when it comes to tasing somebody, but I don't think he's supposed to tase him when he's behind the wheel. Yeah. You could tase him, he'd lock the fuck up and just run somebody over. <laughs> Y'all bit off. Putting the man in a chokehold, man. But I think the reason, the main culprit behind this whole situation, the reason why he was able to get away, because these police officers are scared to do their job. Yeah. I really think that, man. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's Black Panther himself. One powerful black man right there. One powerful black man. <laughs> this man is damn good show. <laughs> More damn good shows. Click one of these two videos right here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. And hey. sign up for our email list. Because we're getting censored. One day you might come here and the harsh twins is gone. <laughs> yeah, that ain't funny. <laughs>